utilize like it. Cover up a little bit, be appropriate here. <laughs> oh, oh god, I need makeup. I have some makeup on now, but seriously now, like, who wants to see that? <laughs> oh my god, I cannot decide what to wear today. Like, look at this. This is our deck right now. It's like flooded. You can see just how icky and nasty everything is out here. Uh, sorry, the mess. My outdoor kitchen's full of outdoor furniture right now, but go over here, spy on the neighbors. What are you doing, neighbors? Okay, so anyways, like I'm saying, it's just gross out here. Oh, this is our sauna out here. It uh, doesn't, hasn't been getting a lot of use right now because it's so ugh, cold out. But oh my god, I sometimes just come in here just to smell it. It smells so good in there. Ugh. But so here's my predicament. It's like nasty, look flooded out. But look. Oh, beautiful blue sky and the sun is out. And oh, my gutters are dirty. Oh, okay. So anyways, that's my problem here. Freezing cold. Oh my gosh, I need to get my toes done. Eh, but it's nice and sunny out. Ugh. Come back inside. Okay, you guys, so like, try not to look at the puffy eyes today. We were up till 2 o'clock in the morning getting my husband's store ready for Black Friday. So, up till 2 in the morning, seriously. Okay, so, you're looking at my hair. Now, ooh, okay, so we're going to Cancun at the end of uh, the month. And we're going to be going on some excursions, it's going to be hot, and we just did another warm trip, and I was so miserable in my wig most of the time, so I was thinking, okay, we're going on excursions, I mean, what if we go zip lining or something, and they do that upside down thing, I'm not going to be wearing a wig for that. So, I was like, I have to do something with my thin, nappy, gross hair, so I went into the salon, and, um, it's not some place I've been going for very long, so she doesn't have a lot of experience cutting my hair or dealing probably with people with thin, thinning hair. So, <laughs> I said, well, I, and my hair was probably like here, but like it was like really ratty towards the end, not ratty, but so thin, so thin. And I just said, well, I still would like to be able to put it in a ponytail. Anyways, so like... She gave me this cut, like, I said long bob, okay? Long bob means, you know, like this. She cut it short up in the back and then left it long in the front. I looked like some weird freaking anime character. It was horrible. That was the first time I've, like, gotten a haircut and I went home and wanted to cry. Like, I've gotten haircuts before that were bad and I should have cried over them, but this was one where I ultimately went home and was like, oh my god, oh my god. And so, um, I turn around in the mirror and I'm looking and I take a comb and I just comb back and the back of, like, my neck where my hairline should be straight was like this. And so not only did I have these, like, weird, long, straggly things in the front, but I had some jacked up stuff going on back there. My husband said it looked like somebody taking an egg beater to the back of my head. So I'm just like, forget it. You know what? I'm doing this myself. Like, I'm not that bad at cutting my own hair. Um, normally, and I have to say, over my lifetime, some of the best haircuts I've ever had were done myself. Because I don't know what it is. I can, like, look at my hair and... I don't know what it is. Like, sometimes when I get my hair cut places, it's like they're not checking to see. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It's like they charge you so much to cut your hair, and then you come home, and you're just... Ugh, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. So, like, I took two tools, you guys. Two tools. Scissors and some thinning shears. And I gave myself a proper bob, okay? So, it's a little shorter in the back. It goes forward in the front. I can part it around. But the thing that, you know, I, I mean, this is not, like, ideal for me, but I think it's cute, and I needed something sophisticated because I don't like, you know, trendy, weird-looking, edgy looks like 
uh, like whatever that thing was that she did to my hair okay I just maybe I'm too old for that look or maybe I'm not cool enough for that look but mostly if my hair's too thin for that look so it didn't work at all I'm sure it looks cute on somebody but on me it did not I could not dress that look up go to a dinner party go to this resort go on excursions and look like that that's not gonna work for me so I did this this is to save me I'm not gonna be able to put it up in a ponytail obviously so whatever whatever um, oh, I'll show you the back. Ugh, the back, mm. I have cowlicks all over the back of my head. I, it, it's just, there's nothing really good going on back there. And so, do I have a mirror? Where's that little, oh. let's see. So, the back of my hair is, well, it looks better when I, like, take a hot, flat iron and kind of like mm, a little bit more but it's just so you can see it's basically just kind of a mess but anyways my savior and I'm sure I've showed you this project pro product before and anybody who has thin hair like me or thinning hair or whatever or you just have like one of those heads where like you can just pull a few hairs apart and you see baldness there. <laughs> okay, the big sexy hair. Um, what the heck is going on here? Okay, powder play. If you don't have this and you have thin hair, I don't know what is wrong with you because this is like the best product on the planet for people who don't have thick hair like depending on I would start really slow with this product just you know it's a powder so you kind of like you kind of put it on like this okay just a little bit goes a long way you can fill your hair with this like literally all over and it will make your hair feel like crazy thick it's like it's hard to explain but it feels like my hair just doubled up here. Now, you don't want to put too much because you start getting this weird kind of like wax, not waxy, but it's gross. You gotta be careful. Start small, but literally when you put so much in it, you can go like this and it'll stay because uh, that's just how it works. And I love that product so much. You put that in, scrunch it up a little bit you can even rat it with it but be very careful like it'll make ratting permanent almost in your hair a little hairspray after you use that you don't need a lot because that stuff's insane and you can have a semi-normal I mean look at me I look like whatever so <laughs> I think this haircut will work for the trip I just um, groomed my eyebrows again so I think that'll be okay. Oh my god, you guys, like, my eyebrows drive me insane. I've had, just this year, I think I've had three makeup artists do my eyebrows. Um, and finally, I found products that I love. And I'm still growing out my eyebrows, so there's, there'll be some that are, like, kind of going crazy. The other day, like, sometimes I try to train these eyebrows and know what I do. I take, um, I take eyelash glue. And I will put a couple spots right, right here, and then I'll move these eyebrows and just touch them onto the, uh, oh my god, I don't have mascara on my lower lashes, that's why I look so dead. Oh, I'll do that later. Anyway, so I'm going to show you the products I've been using that I absolutely love, and um, I had a freelance makeup artist from Dior do my makeup. She was the last one that did it, and I love her brow art so like I wanted something that looked a little more natural a little less uh like painted in I like the painted in look but my just like the colors of wigs I've been wearing lately it didn't really work and I know a few of you commented that I would look younger with the lighter brows so anyway so it's kind of like mm, looking for something that I like dark brows but I would like them to look a little more natural I won't be able to see the see the hairs and when you fill them in like really painted look uh like some of the other artists were doing um i didn't like that it didn't look natural with my hair color so 
Dior's, um, well, I did get it. I have another pencil by Dior, which is their, um, their powder eyebrow pencil. I have this one in soft brown, and this was a little thick. This, um, it's really nice. It comes with a brush on one end and obviously the pencil on the other. Dior's products are expensive as heck when you're buying stuff like, I don't know, but like, they're perfect. I've been standing around makeup counters testing things and going around and sampling and I just love the way their products feel. They're just like creamy and powdery and nice and the colors are just right. I stood at the Urban Decay um, counter or their little area like testing their little pencils that are like this. This is the one I'm using now. I, I, I'm not using this one anymore. I'm using this one. It is the Dior, Bra uh, Dior Show brow styler. Now let's see if I can get this uh, thing to... Yeah, okay, so it's the Dior Show brow styler. This is universal brown. It comes with the little spoolie on the end and it kind of like comes out like that. This is the one I love, okay? This one I love the powdery finish that it leaves, but it's too pigmented. This is thin enough that I can uh, I can get a good line, like going here and then going up here. You know, I can shape that out. I can make little feathering lines here. Okay, with this, I basically do some good filling in of my very sparse brows, and then you can just uh, kind of fix them up like that with that little brush and then oh my god the best product ever okay now when you're doing like a brow gel or something like that okay I hate those they come on a little mascara wand most of the time and that is not like a very realistic way to get good shaped brows with a mascara wand I always used a clear mascara in the past to do this and it, it was like, it was okay, it was fine. And I never used the products that were mascara. Well, I've tried them on at the, uh, at the mall, but I hated them because it was just like this big glob of blech. So anyways, Dior Show, um, Dior Show's Brow Styler Gel comes with like this crazy little like spoolie looking. That's dirty looking. <laughs> anyways, you twist this end and then out of these little holes, really has two holes right here. It comes with this like gel. I think you can kind of see it seeping out now. Seeps out of here and then you just like... I don't know what is up with this gel but like just grabs on to every little hair and it leaves this dark color so you get the light color from your pencil underneath and then this it just really... it's just a light amount of gel that really grabs onto your hairs and leaves them looking gorgeous and defined, each little hair. So I'm gonna try to... Anyways, these are like life, you guys, these two products. The Dior Show Brow Styler Gel and this Dior Show uh, Brow Styler. So I have this one in just brown, it's number three, and I have this one in number one, which is Universal Brown. These two together are my heaven right now. I went and bought two more of them so I don't run out on the trip. It's like, ah, uh, the two of these together were like $58. I mean, that's kind of crazy, but my brows are worth it, man. My brows are worth it. So <laughs> I'm so happy with them right now. They're like, I do all my own like shaping and stuff. And if you knew what my real brows looked like, they're like caterpillars, you guys. Like my real eyebrow goes down to about see the you can see the line it goes down to about here and well i get hairs even down in here it's so gross so gross you guys so i have to count constantly be plucking i can't like wait a month like some people do and then go and have somebody like oh i'll just have them you know pluck my eyebrows and shape them and it'll look all good i'm constantly having to like take maintenance this and some of them are blonde some of them are dark there's no remedying this you guys it's a lifelong struggle okay to like keep these looking like this but it's worth it
it's worth it. Okay, so I'm looking at my hair and it's driving me nuts. I don't know, like, I'm definitely gonna be taking some wigs with me on this trip because I want to look stunning when I dress up, but I think this will work for the rest of the time, so I don't know, what do you guys think? That's it, I showed you my uh, haircut I gave myself, <laughs> my repair hair, and I showed you my, um, let's see, I showed you my brow stuff, yeah, so I'm going to try to do another video after this, but this one was just kind of like, you know, look at my hair. Look at my hair. Look at my puffy eyes. But anyways, so if you like this at all, like it, you guys. Come on, just like it for me. And uh, subscribe below if you haven't already. I sometimes make some funny videos, and sometimes they're just about wigs and they're boring. But anyways, you should subscribe because we can hang out. And you should go to my Facebook. It's, uh, you just search at Sasha Hartlett. That's my public figure page. And, uh, you can like it there. And we can, you know, kind of go back and forth on Facebook a little bit. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.